Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Hot Rods by Doug. I appreciate you stopping by. We're working on the uh, old FJ here, which is not, I guess, so hot rod, but we're going to get this thing lifted up in the air and see if we can't start getting the gas tank out of it. This video will probably be broke up in between a few days. I'm hoping to maybe have this thing done by the end of the weekend. Once we get the gas tank removed, we're going to have to lower it back down and do it on the ground because the post lift is right where I need to be cutting and I'm where I'm going to be welding. So we'll have to put it back on the ground and then suspend uh, the rear end up a little bit. But I don't think we'll really have any problems out of that. So I want to get you guys set up on the tripod and start lifting this thing up and start getting the gas tank out of it. It's a really nice day out here. Dad's got his 65 Chevy pickup truck sitting outside. We've got the Impala over here in the corner. We've got the Suburban sitting out there. I'd much rather be working on some hot rod stuff, but we're going to work on what we got to work on for right now. So I'm going to get you guys set up and I'm going to get started on my work. looking the greatest this is what broke on us it rusted off and this is pretty scaly too we'll have to clean all this up hopefully the thing we have clears this thing too i didn't think about that didn't know that was back there i'm not sure exactly what this is it's just hold meant to hold this line but that's that's trash man that's junk man it's just really scaly. That's Ohio vehicles for you, though. They are just no good. It's not looking the greatest, you know. I don't even know what this does, but poking holes in here. Hopefully, we can get this bolt back out. We're going to have to drop it down because this lift is in the way of where that piece has to slide up. And I just hope I can grind this down enough to get some clean metal that way we get some good penetration with the welder I, I wouldn't know what else i mean look at that i don't know you know when i see stuff like this i'm just like man i don't know but we're uh we're gonna keep trying see what we can do see if we can't help her get back on the road hate to give up on this thing so uh so hopefully we can figure something out we'll get this off the lift get this ground down and we can get some clean metal on it but it's about dinner time so i'm gonna go eat some dinner and i'll catch up with you guys here in a couple days we're back out here in the shop working on the fj still it's been a couple weeks more than a couple days but i've been underneath this thing and i've been trying to mock up the new piece i'll show you guys what i got going on real quick we're gonna have to trim it a little bit and then we're going to start grinding down the frame, trying to get some clean metal. That way we can buzz this thing on there and then hopefully we can get it all painted up. I'm hoping maybe to have it done today, but not 100%. Might be another day or so. So I'm going to get you guys underneath the truck with me and we'll check out what's going on. Underneath here, trying to get this piece kind of mocked up a little bit. And I think we're going to have to trim some off the back here we'll make a mark there and cut some of that off we still have to make sure that this bar and that bar 
or the same distance so that we know that everything is square. But for right now, I'm going to mark these pieces and trim them and try to get it to fit up in there a little better. All right, I got my pieces marked here. That'll be where I'm gonna cut this side off to give us a little extra room for when we're welding. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. from the bottom that way we have something to weld on to so we'll cut that out and then we'll go test fit it again and see if it fits this piece here was supposed to go up inside the frame but this is not for an fj this is for a forerunner but we're going to try to make it work so i think i'm going to cut this off so that this can sit flush on the bottom of the frame All right, well, I got this thing clamped up in here the best I can. We're going to give it a shot. We're not going to be able to weld this thing 100% all the way around because some of the gaps are too big. Like I said before, this thing is for a 4Runner, and this is an FJ, but this is what I was brought, and we're going to try to make it work the best we can. So this thing will be pretty well welded up, but there's going to be a few places where we can get into, but I don't think it'll really matter. This will be better than nothing for now until they figure out what they want to do all right so we have it tacked into place we have a bunch of clamps on it as well the fitment is not the best but we are going to i'm trying to take a hammer and knock some of that in and maybe move the clamp over and clamp it up a little more and it's the same way on the other side it's tacked at a few spots on the other side just like it's tacked here in a couple spots and then uh, i'm going to start burning this thing in the best i can we're not going to be able to weld like back here because I don't want to mess with these brake lines, but we'll weld down as far as we can. As the same way up here, we'll weld as far as we can. Weld all this underneath here, underneath here, up along there. It should be good enough. Like I said, this thing's, uh, it's pretty rotten. I mean, it's pretty rotten, but we're just trying to, you know, money is the key here. We're trying to save them some money, but... Hopefully they'll get this taken care of or figure something else out because if it was my car, I'd already scrapped it, but it's not my car. I'm just trying to help people out. So I guess I'm going to get you guys set up over here and then I'm going to start welding away.
we got it all welded up the best we can. You know, I'm no professional welder or anything, just kind of a mediocre, but I welded up the best I could with what we were working with. Both sides are done. We couldn't get no weld in here because the metal is just too thin. It's just rusted. You can see where I tried to start welding and it just went right through. It's just too rotten there, but we have up and over and down and then underneath and all along the backside. So this should be good. This should get them by for a while. So now I just need to throw some paint on it and then start putting the gas tank back in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to that today or not. I might get some paint on it, but I might wait until, uh, I might wait till tomorrow and put the gas tank back in it and we'll go from there and take it for a ride and maybe take it back to her so i'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit We just took this thing for a ride and it is working perfect tracks nice and straight doesn't pull either way i'm very happy with how it turned out hopefully she'll be happy with it too so there it is all finished up you can't even really tell we did anything you would not even know whether or not this was factory or not i put some bed liner on it, it turned out really nice i'm no professional but I'm really happy with how that turned out. I wish the frame wouldn't be so rusty. Would have made for welding a little better, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You're just trying to help people out, you know. I don't do this for a lot of money or anything. I just like to help people get back on the road. And you know, Life is stressful enough with everything else we got going on in the world that people don't need to worry about how they're gonna get back and forth to work and how they're gonna fix how they're gonna be able to afford to pay somebody to fix this so if i can help anybody out i try to help them out the best i can so but that's probably gonna be it for this video it's probably a short video but we got the fj done i'm pretty happy with that we got some other stuff coming up here real soon so you guys want to keep coming back for that if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button give this video a like if you like it and uh while you guys are doing all that we're going to keep FJ and that was horrible. We're going to keep hot rodding. We'll catch you guys next time.